All right, Shalom. Today we are back into the archives and we're not in California digital art newspaper archives. We're not in New York State digital ar- uh, newspaper archives. We are in the archives of the Library of Congress itself, chroniclingamerica.gov. So this is an article from March 12th, 1840. It's titled Remarks of Mr. Fillmore. And in this article, he's going through talking about the treatment of the Negro man and the Negro and the plight of the Negro worldwide and saying, why is ridiculous? Why is he being treated this way? Is it because of the color of the skin? Is it the fact that he is in servitude or he's a slave? And he mentioned some very interesting things. Uh, uh, I'm going to read from the whole paragraph or the whole article, pretty much a huge section of this article because it says so much in just this one part right here. But you're going to be surprised who he uh, compares to the Negro, saying if the Negro is treated so horribly just based off the color of his skin and his because he's black and swarthy, then why are these people treated the same way? Because they're just as dark as he is, if not darker. And you'll be shocked by who he mentions in that list of people who are dark and that he compares to the Negro saying they're just as dark as he is and they're not treated the same way. So let's go. If the action does not lie for imputing a want of moral virtue, can it lie for imputing a uh, consing, uh, consinguity, consingu- uh, consinguity without, uh, with any particular race of men for saying of, uh, for saying of another that he has a drop of African blood in his veins, which is dodge a hijack not everybody who's of dark skin derives from africa not even close um that he is kin in some degree remote to uh or near to the negroes now it goes in italics here this is get this and pay attention to this part it's in italics it just switches to italics which is weird the negroes to the race of men who have been for ages the victims of a bloody and unrelenting uh avarice and who are bow, uh, b- uh, bowed down into the ground and trodden under, by uh, trodden underfoot by oppression so wide and so enormous that no man can for a moment contemplate their situation without the deepest commiseration and horror, commiseration for their sufferings and horror at the immense mass of wickedness and crime which holds them in subjug- subjugation. So do we have the right to claim that multiple nations have teamed up against us and are keeping us under to make us a slave nation? Somebody has to be at the bottom. And we've been saying for a long time that everyone has teamed up to do that. And this dude in this article is saying the wickedness and crime which holds them in subjugation. Let's continue. And why should the act on law, uh, action lie for imputing the kindred with the Negro race? It is because they are sl- is it because they are slaves? Question mark. I presume not. The Russian peasant, the Polish serf, and recently the feudal villain were alike slaves. Who is there of uh, who is there of European extraction who can be sure that not one of his ancestors was brought and sold like the cattle of the feudal lord? And surely it cannot be imagined to be slanderous to charge one with being of kin to the Russian boar or Scalvian serf. So he's saying, is the Negro treating badly because he's a slave? Because these European, who of European descent, Caucasian European descent was not of a slave and can't be sure that their ancestors or family members at one point weren't sold like cattle. Is it because the Negro is black? But on this ground, the action should as well, now get this, should as well lie for imputing kindred with the native of Malabar and many other parts of India with the Brazilian, the Californian. Now, we know that the Californians were dark. We know that the West Coast, the natives and the Indians on the West Coast were many of them, not all of them were described as black and just as black as Negro. The Hollander, the Laplander, the Greenlander, who are all of a swarthy hue and many as black as the native of Congo. Wow. So he's stating that if he's treated badly because he's of black skin or he's of dark skin, then how come these people who are just as black as he is are not treated the same way? 
let's go through that list list again malabar and many other parts of india with the brazilian the californian new hollander laplander the greenlander who are all of swarthy hue and many as black as the native of congo now you're saying who what what is new holland where is new hollander good question what is a laplander uh, laplander and a greenlander well let's go look that up let's go see who these people are now if you look at this picture you type in indigenous people of california or natives of california or californians the indigenous people of california is known as the native californians are indigenous inhabitants who lived or currently live in the geographic area within the current boundaries the queen of california uh uh was a dark and i mean dark because i have articles from the 1800s 1700s about the queen of california and it specific specifically states that she's not this she's not that no she is dark dark skinned a huge dark skinned muscular woman and if you go look up indigenous people of california what do you see you see mongoloid people and you see white people wearing headdresses <laughs> now new holland where it says new hollanders was in that list new hollander is australia so it's saying that the people of australia are just as black as a negro what is a laplander the laplanders were uh, mentioned in there too a native inhabitant of Swedish historical province, Lapland. A native inhabitant of Finnish historical province, Lapland. So the natives of Sweden and uh, Finland were uh, dark-skinned and swarthy, just as dark as the Negro. Let's go look up some definitions of swarthy. Swarthy, 1580s. Dark-colored, especially of skin. <laughs> Naturally having skin of dark color, dusky, swart. So uh, we need to dodge a hijack on a lot of this stuff. Native Californian, here's a definition of that. An indigenous person of California, a member of the indigenous tribes historically associated, associated with California. So I looked up a couple of videos of uh, our pictures of a Greenlander. And I was like, okay, let's look up Native Greenlander. And there was only one picture I can find of somebody that was slightly dark. Uh, we can go through more definitions of the term swarthy, but that's just because, you know, Caucasians like to hijack it. And they like to say swarthy means of a dark countenance or a dark attitude or uh, so rosy red cheeks or something like that, which is a lie straight out of hell. There is not one definition anywhere you can find that ever alluded to the term swarthy saying referring to a Caucasian as darks or uh, having dark hair or rosy red cheeks or olive skin like they try to say that's just a way for them to pretty much they they're pretty much getting told that their their forefathers have lied about a lot of stuff and they are trying to dodge it and they're trying to get around it by lying about the definition just like they lied back in the day so with that being said go look for yourself in these archives go look in the uh library of congress archives go look up california archives look up the term swarthy look up the term black indians look up the term negro indians look up the term negro and indians together and you'll find many cool stories just like i did of especially in the south in florida of uh the combination of negroes and indians sometimes you'll find our i found an article where it literally separated blacks negroes and indians into three different categories like what <laughs> So there's a lot of things that uh, there's a lot of things that they're hiding. There's a lot of definitions that are attempted to be changed. Uh, so go do your research, go do your own uh, studies and don't take my word for it.